What's up YouTube? It's Toron and I'm bringing you another an updated version of this door. It actually uses a little bit less repeaters and it's a little simpler. Uh, and I think I think you guys will like it. So we're going to come over here and we're going to build it. So right about here should work. So first we need these. The si our six pistons for each side. One, two, and then of course the doors for the blocks and that's just to you know give it the appearance that we want so then we come over here and what I've done actually on these sides here is I've matched them up uh, so that they're the same width so this side these ones are the only ones that you do to a full tick and then over here I'm gonna put my button so over here these ones are going to the full and then these ones are only one each and what this will do is this will let us okay and what I've done is basically made it so that I don't need that or that there we go and go like that I've made it so um, that they this one is a one second longer than this one so that they open at the same time but I wanted to have the same width on both sides uh, just to make it easier to, to plan for it and so I uh, added the extra repeater over here like that two and then but this one doesn't need the repeater And this should actually work without having to add the underground. Yep, there you go. So basically, it appears that if I don't use, if I use the uh, repeaters here, it only powers these top blocks. But if I use redstone, it goes through both pistons which basically makes it so that I don't have to dig underneath and put a redstone or anything below. I can stick with just just this redstone above and it does the job. The exact same job that this one over here does with the repeaters and the torch underneath and all this underground stuff. Don't need all that now. So now you're free to sit there and pick where you want your uh, hopper, your your button and stuff to go, which is going to be here again, of course. We got to go three down. So it makes it a little bit easier to actually wire it up underneath as well. Because you don't have to worry about running into all those things anymore. Just give myself a little room down here. And so then for this one, we need to go with a chest. And actually, a fun thing I've realized... Oh, it's underneath the redstone. Dropper. So what we're going to do on this side here is chest that into a dropper. And then this is just going to go into a bucket of lava. Like that. So now, we go like this, of course. And then we get ourselves a rail. A hopper with a cart. 
block up for a second, rail, hop over the cart. Let's do this first. Hop over the cart. All right. And then we'll close it off so that it can't go anywhere. And then we continue on with the normal. That. Oh, wait. Need to drop these. Oh, I still need the hoppers. Sticky piston and a hopper. I don't need this anymore. I will need a button soon. And then we go like this. And like that. Like this. Like that. Like that. Like that. Oh. Need one of these. Like so. Like so. Oh, too close. No. There. And then we need our comparators. And then for the put that there. For testing. Boom. Works like a charm. So now put that in there. So now this is all done. Now the hopper our hopper uh, dilly dally is all ready to go. Now we just need to hook it up. So now we take this and so this wire here you would actually bring down like so. All right, so then we want to make sure that we have one of these going on. Inverted torch. All right, doors are closed. Come over here. Run it that way. Now the doors are closed. We come over here. Toss a block. Doors open. Beautiful. You have all the room underneath of this thing to work your button magic and everything else without the headache of having stuff in the way. So like say we want to come over here and now we want to come over here and do this one. No, I don't want torches. I want those. Now we're on the other side. So now we just drop this, drop this. Like so. And then we go like this, like this, like this, like that. And boom. It's that easy. You don't have to worry about wires underneath. Nothing. So for anybody that wants to do this type of a door, I would recommend doing it this way now. Um, just because it saves. It's a lot easier. There's less to deal with. There's less of a hassle. Um, all you have to do is, you know, just... Drop your block there, doors open, you go through, you got your button on the other side that can open it as well. You don't have to deal with all the wiring underneath anymore. Um, I think it's a lot simpler of a design. I just I think it works just as effective as this one.
where you still have your block but without having to do all the under underbelly wiring that you had to do here and then you don't have to worry about crossing lines or anything it's just really simple and it works so yeah I think this is the design that I'm going to be using from now on just because it's simpler less wiring less repeaters and I don't know I, I, I think it's a little bit more straightforward so if uh, you guys have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them in the uh, comment section below otherwise thanks everybody for watching and uh, I hope you guys like the new and improved uh, double hidden piston door with the hidden entry key. Alright you guys, take care everybody.